Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw the male Muto from Godzilla. So, to start off with this, we are going to begin with the head. So, I'm going to start right here on my paper, and I'm just going to make a line that comes down and then curves around like this. Then I'm going to curve this back up and down at an angle like this. Then I'm going to curve this line down. Then I'm going to go over. And then I'm going to bring it back up like this. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down, up, and then down again. And then I'm going to bring this line up here at an angle, and then out like that. Now I'm going to draw a little line right here just to show where the mouth is kind of stretching open. And then I'm going to draw another little line over here to show where the other part of the mouth is. Then in here I want to add some teeth into the Muto's mouth. And then I'm going to put a few up here as well. Then I'm going to take this line and bring this line down here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up and goes around here like this. And then I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and up for the eye of the Muto. Then I'm going to add another little line kind of underneath it. Next, I'm going to take this line and I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to bring it over like this. Then I'm just going to kind of bring this back down towards the head. Next I'm going to add a couple little lines right here just to show where like the neck is bending. And I'm going to draw a little line down here for the neck. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves out and it's going to go up all the way towards the top of my paper and then curl down. Then I'm just going to curl this back and bring this line all the way down here and get a little bit bigger towards the end. Then I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make the wing and I'm going to make some like little indentations in here just to make it look like it's kind of been like beat up. And then I'm going to curve it right to there. Now, over here I'm going to draw another wing that kind of comes up and just kind of curls down. Then I'm going to do the same thing, bringing it back. I'm going to keep this one a little bit skinnier because it's farther away. And then I'm going to keep this wing really close to the body. I'll add a few more of those little marks. And I'm just going to bring it in like that. Next, I want to draw one of the claws. So. I'm going to just start by drawing a little line right here that just kind of curves. It's going to go out and then down like this. I'm going to make another one that just kind of curves right here. Then I'm going to start right here. I'm just going to curve this line going down. I'm going to kind of drop it down to right here. Then I'm going to start right here, make this arm a little bit bigger, draw it to there. Then I'm going to draw it down, 
And then I'm just going to curve this line down and then up. And then bring this line right to here. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line that kind of comes down. And then I'm going to go out and then kind of come back. Then I'm just going to go down and I'm going to curve this up. They have these little claws right around here. And I'm just going to kind of bring these right around here. I'm going to connect the body to that arm. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that goes down to that arm. I'm going to bring it out and then draw the same kind of curved arm that I did. Make this one just kind of come out a little bit farther. Now, I want to add another wing. You know, there's lots of different ways to draw these male mutos. There's all different, you know, versions all around. So I'm just going to add an extra wing on this. So I'm going to draw a little line that comes here and it's going to curve out and then kind of come back like this. And then I'm just going to add that little flap of the wing. I'm going to bring it in here, kind of end it right there. Then right here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add that extra little wing then kind of bring it out like that. Next, I want to draw the other claw, the big arm of this one. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of comes out, and then down. I think I'm going to draw this over, curve it up like this. I'm just going to go around and then bring it back towards the body. Then over here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down. And then for the leg, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down and then comes back up. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down. And I'm going to draw a little toe like this. And another little one right here. And then one more right here. Then I'm going to go up and down like this. And then I'm just going to curve a line right down here. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Draw a little line that curves down. Line down here. Make a little toe. Draw a line here. A little toe here. Then go up and then draw a line down for the other leg. Now I want to add just a few little like details and different things on here to make this look a little bit better. So I'm going to just kind of draw a line that kind of comes up here like this. I'm going to add a few more of these kind of wrinkle lines where the neck is. I'm going to add some extra little just detail lines kind of right around the mouth here. I'm going to make a few lines kind of come down the head, or go up the head I should say. Make some more little lines around the face. I'm going to add just some little curved lines around where the wings and arms are kind of bending and attaching. Make some extra little lines kind of going down the arms and everything of the MUTO. Then I want to add just a couple little lines kind of coming down the wings. I'm going to draw a few lines right around here. 
some lines on the toes coming up the legs. Add a few more lines on here. And just a few more lines all the way around here. And there you go. There is your drawing of the male Muto. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.